guys up into two halves. We're going to be our posse. Because we are old core art school rappers. Yeah. And uh, so this, since the hill's going to fall, I'm going to split it right here. And like back, back, <laughs> zigzag. Okay, good. this, you guys are going to be with this side. And you guys are going to be over here. Sweet. Yeah. Just like the uh, classic DC Boy song, Fight for Your Right. We're going to set up a rhyme, and we need the posses to finish it for us, okay? So, for the initial suggestion, can I get a one syllable word? One syllable. Go. 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 And you guys start. Can I get a beat, please? A boom, a boom, a boom, a boom, a boom, a boom, a boom. It's not stop, it is go. A boom. A boom boom It's a female beer. Her name is Joe. A boom A boom Our friend over there, his name is Joe. A boom A boom I don't have enough. I want some show. A boom A boom My yard's too long. It's time to mow. A boom A boom Gotta water this flower. Gotta make it grow. A boom A boom Shoot an arrow with my bow. A boom a boom boom. Look a boom at this water, how I make it flow. A boom. A boom. Got a baseball. Gonna throw. A boom. A boom boom. A man up, bro. I've got to row. A boom. A boom boom. I am cognizant of things. I really know. A boom. A boom. A boom. A boom. What? What? Off rhyme. You totally killed the beat. You just want the round to end. Alright, so if someone messes up the beat, if they miss a rhyme, go ahead and shoo them off stage and boom. Or if you just don't like a rhyme. Yeah, yeah. Happy for any reason. Alright, good job. We're going to move in the next rhyme. And one more one syllable word, please. The coach. Rhyme differently. Coach. Coach. Good luck. You guys. A boom. A boom. A boom. A My horse is full, it is a coach. A boom. They skitter on the ground, they live in roach. A boom. 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 Oh, snap. Oh, I got one the coach. Okay, one more one syllable word. Go ahead. Play. 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 Black and white together make gray. A boom bunch. A boom bunch. A boom bunch. Gonna talk, I'm gonna say it. A boom bunch. A boom bunch. I believe in a god that means I pray. A boom bunch. A boom bunch. It is a book mocking Jay. Jay. A boom bunch. 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 Yeah, said it. I thought we were dead. Ill. What? I thought we were dead. Ill. Ill. But oh, Rachel and Will. Uh, a boom. 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 I'm not feeling well. I think I'm ill. A boom. A boom. A boom. A boom. So I'm gonna take a pill. A boom. A boom. A boom. A murderous rage. I want to kill. A boom. A boom. A boom. When I'm with Jack, her name was Jill. A boom. A boom boom ch, a boom ch, a boom boom ch. Oh, man. Oh, man. Eating alive. One more one syllable word. Run. 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 A boom ch, a boom boom ch, a boom ch, a boom boom ch. Two exercise I do. Run. A boom ch, a boom boom ch. I'm all finished. I'm all done. A boom a boom boom ch. A play on words, it is a pun. A boom ch. A boom boom ch. Comes up in the morning, it is the sun. A boom ch. A boom boom ch. My murder weapon is a gun. A boom ch. A boom boom ch. A boom ch. A boom ch. Now, since this team is down to their last person, the entire audience is now his posse because he is so sad. Look at that. I got your back, Taylor. One more, one syllable word, please. Brace. Brace or race? Either one. Brace. 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 Br
A boom pooch. My teeth are crooked. I need some brace. A boom pooch. A boom pooch. I run in this hard race. A boom pooch. A boom pooch. Stay right there. Stay in your place. A boom pooch. A boom pooch. Amazing grace. A boom pooch. It's a difficult mystery case. form set of the night. Basically, it is a sort of extended uh, play that we're going to make up. I'm just going to hand this out. Now, so you have in your hands some paddles that have specific little things on them. Who has Oscar winning moment? Go ahead and hold that up. Right there. Whenever you feel inclined during a scene, you can yell, Oscar winning moment! And hold that up. And people in the scene will get really intensely emotional <laughs> with whatever they're doing. Okay, who has inner monologue? Oh, we do. That's you guys over here. Whenever you want to, yell inner monologue. Inner monologue. And you'll be able to hear our innermost sleep of thoughts. And who has, show me that. Show me that. Whenever people on stage mention something you want to see, just yell, show me that. And we'll jump to that scene. Feel free to pass those around after you do it. Share the wealth. Pass it around. Okay. Now, to get us started. We're going to need a suggestion of something you used today. Something you used. A syringe. Syringe. <laughs> syringe is our <laughs> syringe. Are you or what? So once upon a time, before my exciting life as an improv comedian, I was a scientist. Not a very good one. Uh, I mostly worked with mice. Tiny little mice that I had to inject with things so that they would die. Um, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, what seems to be the... Let's see. Blue one or red one? <laughs> Go back. Yeah, it was grim. Uh, but you know what? Like, mice seem so cute and lovely until you're picking them up to give them injections. Cause they fight, and they bite, and that's the itchy, scratchy theme song. But um, no, but if you do not pick them up and just get like the back of the skin, like if the first time you do, you're like, I don't want to hurt the poor mouse. I just wanted to have a nice, quiet, sweet death in the nature of science. And by the end of it, you're like, Shh. <laughs> 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 Okay, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Good model. So, uh, I have a cat, and she is six pounds. She's the smallest cat I've ever seen in my life, and I happen to have it. And it's interesting how... Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's, been a, it's been a rough road. Uh, it's interesting how many people it takes to uh, restrain such a small animal when you're trying to inject worm medicine down its throat with a wide mouth syringe. Uh, wrapped in the towel, it took myself, my father, my mother, my two brothers uh, to hold down different parts of this cat while I shot this uh, injection down her throat, which she then spit right back up. So I had to do it again, and then she spit it up. I had to go to the store and buy more, come back, find her from uh, the rafters where she liked to hide, put her back in the towel, and we all did it again. And we finally uh, got it in there, but, you know, smallest cat in the world. Biggest person out. I'm going to continue the uh, animal theme. Um, I'm also going to add a uh, grandmother and a, <laughs> no, excuse me, a great aunt and a um, godmother. So when I was in college, my mom did not like to tell me bad news because, because she didn't want me to be sad when I was away from home. So one day she called me and I'm like, hey, mom, how's it going? And she's like, I'm good. Um, hey, I have some bad news. Uh, your Aunt Helen died. And I'm like, oh man, really? I'm like, she's like, yeah. I'm like, when? She's like, about two weeks ago. <laughs> I, didn't want to, I didn't want you to be sad. <laughs> uh, <she's... laughs> hey, son, welcome back from college. Hey, I, uh, I brought my laundry, lots of it. Great, uh, you can put it in, we still have some empty boxes. We put them right there. Uh, uh, just put them in the empty boxes, pack them up, because uh, you know, this is the last shipment, so I'm glad you're here. You can help us with the couch. What? Wait, what's happening? What? Oh, we're, we're moving. 
Yeah, you know, we bought a house over on we bought a house over on Sixth Street. Why didn't you tell me this? It seems like that takes we more didn't than a day. This has been in the works for like two years. <laughs> you didn't know about this? No, I call you guys every Sunday. Did I send you a text? I, I'm pretty sure I Facebooked you on this one. Honey, the oh, movers are here. Oh, come on, put that phone. <laughs> every time he comes home, get a text. he just sits around. He's, He's your son, you know. What did you do with all my things? Like, they were up in my room, and now they're, what? Just throw them away? You've got a new house! What is it that he's not getting about this? Honey, the you movers talk to are I'll here. I'll talk to the movers. So we need to put the... Jenny, it's time for your shot. Don't make that face. Not make just... a face? Jenny, don't edge away from me while I'm holding something sharp. Because I trust you. I have been your doctor for your entire life. Sit down. Can you please? I paid for an entire chair. Please use it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now, okay. Now this is just the pre-injection. Okay. There's more than one? Yeah, this is just a numb for the bigger injection. There's a bigger one? Oh, there's not just one. Peter Monowalk, Jenny. Get really nervous around needles, like peeing my pants kind of nervous. Show me that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I sewed up your pants, and I just, you know, used my... <laughs> Are you okay, honey? Yeah. I'm, 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 wow, it's so nice to finally come to the Seattle and see all its scenic locations. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh, Jenny, look. Jenny, what's that smell? <laughs> I don't want to take it. I want to take the medicine. It tastes gross. Well, you thunder. I got him. All right. Now, now, you. get him. Yeah. Hold him down. Hold him down. Hold down. Hold now, put it in. Put it in. Put it in. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> All right. Put it out. He's put it out. Oh. 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 No, you eat it. Yeah. <sighs> Now, I want you to thank your Aunt Helen, your cousin Jeremy, and your sister. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Nothing, it's just Advil. Guys, <laughs> thank you for teaching him the true meaning of family. <laughs> right, Jonesy? We have weird traditions. <laughs> I don't have any lunch money for you today, Abby. What? I spotted you three times this week. Yeah, but those lunches just look so good, I end up buying more than I mean to. Don't, don't hit me. I bruise. Oscar, any moment. you touch me, you break a blood vessel. Show me that. <laughs> oh no, my blood vessels! You oh. broke them! Oh. I just don't have your money, Abby. I might never have your money. How am I gonna eat? Now, Jonesy! We're going to your grandfather's. He's not taking his medicine. Well, I don't know that. It's our duty. Why is it every time we go to grandpa's house, we always have to tackle him? Why is it every time grandpa's house, we have to tackle him? Why is it every time that we go to grandpa's house that we have to tackle him? Can't we just hug him? Show me that. Hey, Grandpa, it's a nice vase you got up there. Oh, it's lovely. 
Splits from 1922. Ah! Go back! <laughs> because it's tradition, Jonesy. <laughs> Watch the road, road. Come on. Watch the wild road. Because it's Whoa, because it's reverse. Because it's tradition. Forward, you're a monologue cyclist. Nothing's going on. Everything's just uh oh. Watch the road! <laughs> oh, good! It's a bike cop! <laughs> there does there seem to be a problem, officer. Sir, <laughs> do you not see that man riding in pain? Sir, I am! <laughs> hey, Charlie. <laughs> Never seen the hospital, buddy. <laughs> How's the uh, body? Uh, mostly gone. Yeah? <laughs> What's that tube for? Oscar winning moment. That's the pee my urine goes in. <laughs> Don't! <laughs> Why? It's for your own good. You're... No! You don't need this anymore! I need the tube! You don't! <laughs> I'm nothing without the P-Tube! You're you! You've always been you! <laughs> now which one of these plugs is, you know, the plug? <laughs> they don't tell me that! <laughs> Veronica, look at my new pet Meowth! Isn't he cute? He's adorable! He's got strips too! You're sick! <laughs> Is he great? I think he just sits. If you're gentle, <laughs> he barks. <laughs> I don't know if I like him, but but I got him for when we want to play together. New choice. But I got him for our roller coaster. New choice. But. I bought him for you. <laughs> He's giving me a really creepy look. Zoom in on the look. <laughs> Zoom back out. <laughs> Maybe we should just keep him at your house. So that you can come and visit me? Yeah! Yeah. First night in the new house. How do you think he's doing up there? I don't know. He... He just keeps pacing. When do you think we I should I don't think that him? sound is pacing. Show me that! I <laughs> hear this. Go back! <laughs> you know, I just remember when I was in college. He's got it. It should be over soon. <laughs> All right, I'll <laughs> Okay, Jenny, we're five injections in. Just hold out your arm for the harpoon gun. Jenny, hold out your arm, because if I hit your center of mass, you're going down. Give me a second! <laughs> Jenny, this barely qualifies as a, a needle. It's clearly a harpoon. Just do it! I, at that angle, it's going to go straight through your torso and then... You think, you think we just move and you can buy me a rat and it'll be okay? Uh, yeah, that was a very expensive rat. Like two dollars. That's the most expensive rat I could find, yes. Wow. Cool, Dad. Thank you. I yeah. thought it was. I would have killed for a rat when I was that your age. That old house. It had... I had nothing when I was your age. You know what I had? No. That's right. I don't know. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Show me that. <laughs> Get her mind along. Man. <laughs> so uh, when uh, 
I was a kid, my dad was, uh, my dad's a police officer, and part of his job was to go down into the sewers. He had to go into the sewers, he had to take out his gun, and he had to shoot the giant rats. As a police officer, that was my dad's job. Giant rats. Just around the corner, there's a rat. Okay, I'm gonna be the good cop this time. This time, be the bad cop. Okay. Where's your gun? It's. Wait. Here's mine. Just, if, he, if he gets antsy, just, just bop him. Just, just bop him. Yeah. Don't I'll, shoot him. No. Just bop him. If he can. <laughs> oh God! Oh, I shot him. <laughs> <laughs> You're out of control, rookie. <laughs> it's our wild card. I'm what? getting complaints left and right from the mayor's office. Shoot <laughs> I'm the mayor's office! Yeah! We got some complaints! We're the mayor's office! Left and right! I didn't mean to say I was the entire office! I need to take this call! We have a lot of people in the office! Can I have my job back? Yeah, rookie. We need you. Wait! Wait, we're the one complaining about him! Yeah, we don't like... He said yes! The rats are running rampant! And I'm the rats are running rampant! The rats! Rampant! Running rats! Butler. Running rampant rats! Show me, Show me that. <laughs> uh, uh, get back! Uh. What do you know? What do you know? I'll never tell you. Go ahead! <laughs> we need him. We need him. I'm here. It's me. What do you need? <laughs> uh, I'm him. I'm the guy. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Oh, what do you got? Um, I can do it. Put me in, coach. Uh, We're not at baseball. It, it was your. It um, was the. Come rats. on, it's my day. Rats. I've been working in that mailroom for 17 years, uh, just rat. waiting for a badge. Ramparts, rats leaving. Uh, I can do it. Last <laughs> winning moment. I can do it. I can do it this time. I can get the ramp. Get a hold no. yourself. <laughs> Did you see the way I took that slap? My god, I've never seen a man take a slap like that. That's right, I can do more. What if the rat slapped him? Nothing would happen. Chief! That's right! This I might be the guy! I'm Damn it! You're talking crazy! <laughs> I know I am! But I... That's a window cleaner bottle! That desk has never been that clean! This is our guy! They also work Yes! Yeah. This first game we're going to play is a game called Continuation, and it is for my adult Taylor original channel and Matt. Six of us. What's going to happen is there's going to be a scene. More and more people will join the scene. We're going to switch characters back and forth, so we're going to swap characters and continue the scene uh, in the same style. It's going to be, you'll see what it is. You'll see. It's fine. <laughs> so, can we get a suggestion for a popular vacation destination? Disney World. Indiana Disney World. Your suggestion is Disney World. Oh, honey, look at all the mice! Yep, yep, uh, I see them. Uh, we should call OSHA or uh, <laughs> someone. This is not safe. Switch. But, honey, isn't it so romantic? <laughs> it would be, except this. Wow. Why is this? You know how mice get me all on Twitter? <laughs> yeah. yeah. A tweeting and all, such. All a, all a Twitter? They get you all a, a Twitter? What is that? It's like Facebook. Twitch. <laughs> what does that have to you, do with our love? You, I, you, you click it and you like the mice. Twitch. <laughs> oh, it's been. Is this something you met on the Twitter? Yeah. You met you met this jerk? He's not a jerk. He's hey. smiling Sia. Hey, work. Switch. He's a giraffe. Oh my god. In his hands. Are He's sweaty. smiling. I don't know about this Twitter. Is is anybody else from your social networks coming I'm to me? Oh. Hey. Then Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Hey, Betty. Switch. Hey, um, what's happening? I know you! I do see him! Oh, switch. Who's he? That's Bruce! There you are! Sorry, I had to go to the bathroom. Switch. Oh, yeah. You're just so lucky, aren't you? I told you Disneyland was a good place to go. 
Betty, I wanted a plan. Stand in horse shit. shit. Okay. Switch. <laughs> you dirty people. Ow, with ow. your get, Move your feet. Switch. <laughs> Damn tourists. Get, I have a scrape. It's, it's oh, romantic. This is not the. It's, it's going to so be happy. It's going to be great. Excuse You're going to love me, it. Me, You're going to love me, it. Excuse me. Did someone call a chef? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is disgusting. Switch. Switch. Uh, I am O'Shirley from OSHA. Switch. And I am here to lay down the law. Oh, uh, finally someone. I, uh, right? Tell her, tell her about the vibes. Switch. There are no, flowers. Why is this costumed insane person touching me? Scene. OSHA doesn't care for this. Scene. Yeah. Right, that was the situation. Typical day in the happiest place on earth. Uh, where's the most magical place on earth? Okay, this next game is for Mike and Taylor, and we need two audience volunteers who won't mind getting touched Woo. a lot. Oh, <laughs> with small personal space bubbles. <laughs> We'd like to, uh, we have one. Yay! One. One. one more. What's your name? Joe. Hi, Joe. <laughs> Guys, this Hi, Joe. is Joe. Joe! Hi, Joe! 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 Uh, we need one more person. Anyone from the audience? Is brave? Or my name? Oh, one more. Oh, oh let's get back here. People, Mike and uh, Taylor, are puppets essentially. They can talk, but they cannot move. They're basically real dolls. And uh, Amber oh, and Joe whoa. here. Whoa, whoa! They're actual dolls. Keep it classy. Amber and Joe are going to move them around, move their bodies, and conduct them through the scene. Mike and Taylor are going to justify what they're currently doing with their mouths. So go ahead and get them in a starting position while we get a suggestion for an object that you could find in your closet. <laughs> in your closet, a sweater. Your suggestion is sweater. <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> Does this sweater make me... Yes like... and yes. <laughs> I just... Uh, I need mean, to get shot over there. I, just, I feel that... It's gonna make your neck look fat right in oh, this area. Oh, wow. Right. Brutal honesty. Right there. Wow. Mm -hmm. Um... I just karate chop that fat out. Okay. Well, I'm I'm sorry, but we can't all have perfect shoulders like you. Don't touch him, Steven. Oh my God. You just you just lost your lift. Steven? Oh no, it's back again. My lift has never gone anywhere. Unfortunately. Ah. <laughs> but it's getting huge. Do this how they with me. <laughs> oh, back up. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I got one. And two. And three. Burn off that turkey neck. Four. Mmm. <laughs> See these right here? This waist? You'll never get that. Uh, Steven? But if you lose enough weight, you can pretend you can. Steven, I am, I am paralyzed <laughs> with jealousy. <laughs> I I just I want you to know I I'm gonna put my hand on your face <laughs> and I am going to embrace you <laughs> because I feel that if we are hugging This is too much, this is too real, this is too real right now. That I will be I can't have it. I can't have it. Steven, just let this happen. <laughs> ah, I need an adult! See <laughs> Alright, it's like we're all looking for love. Right? <laughs> Raise your hand if they're looking for love. <laughs> no one's looking for love. No, no, we're not. Um, anyway, what? Oh, we got one over here. So, someone, though, needs to look for love. And that's why we're going to play a game called The Dating Game. Now, we would like an audience volunteer who is looking for this question someone. Who would like to be in the hot seat, find a new pal, 
spend the rest of your days with. <laughs> on this cold, lonely rock we call her. No one is looking for that. No one wants to find a new bow. Someone definitely wants to find one. No one? Yes, right here. <laughs> So she can. All right. Uh, yes, you can. Shannon, Mona, go with Shannon into the uh, soundproof other room. So, uh, maybe the ladies' room. Sure. Okay, that's like a smash of cake. <laughs> okay, so this game we have three bachelors or bachelorettes, whichever preference Mona has. Um, they are Will, Rachel, and Taylor. Oh, shit, I am in this. <laughs> language, language, sir. Language. These bachelors or bachelorettes, I don't pre prejudice. Uh, have special characteristics about them. For instance, Will here is turning into a mythical creature. What mythical creature is Will slowly turning into? Chimera. Smurf. A what? A chimera. A chimera? Smurf. A smurf. A smurf. You are slowly turning into a smurf. Now, Rachel is undercover. She's a celebrity who's hiding out undercover, but her identity will peek through in certain ways. So what celebrity? Clint Eastwood. You're Clint Eastwood. <laughs> Clint Eastwood. And uh, what, what characteristic of a hero is Taylor? The new part. What? You're a mind reader. Taylor, you read mind. The hero, not the hero's journey, Zach. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have our, our bachelors. Let's go ahead and say what we are. I am slowly turning into a smurf. Plenty swim in disguise. A mind reader. Great, great. Okay, on the count of three, we're going to yell one, two, three. Mona, get back in here so she knows we're done. Okay, one, two, three. Mona, get back in here! She knows we're done. Because we're done. Because we're done. Because we're done. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Mona. Now, Mona, do you have any questions for our crew of Bachelor things? I, <laughs> I do. I do. Um, so, Bachelor number one. Yo. What do you think would be the most romantic date? Yeah, I'd just take you down to my gym. You could watch me pump a few laps, then we eat some mushroom stew. <laughs> <laughs> wants to say is he'd take you to a graveyard where there's goldberry, but he doesn't know which grave it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what I'm getting. Thank you, Bachelor number three. You're very helpful. Um, I know someone named Helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Bachelor number one, what's your favorite food? I, I like mushrooms in the magical forest. <laughs> and hugs. Okay. okay. I've never seen someone like you okay. before. Okay. Okay. Is okay. someone in here thinking about me naked? Yes. Get off my lawn! 
on! Hold it! Hold it! <laughs> Mona, do you have one more question for each of our panel? And they can give a one word answer, lightning round. Okay. Here we go. Um, bachelor number one, favorite color? Smurf! <laughs> <laughs> Bachelor number two, <laughs> favorite vehicle, <laughs> Gran Torino. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what was that? Gran Torino. Gran Torino. And bachelor number Favorite three. president, Martin Van Buren. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, have you made your decision? <laughs> Who would you like to go home with? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? This is such a tough competition. You all are very um, eligible bachelors. Um, bachelor number one. Hi! I don't. You're so brainy! I don't think that I would enjoy um, going on a date with you because, because you're Papa Smurf. Yeah. Close enough! Oh. No. Um, bachelor number three, even though I appreciate how intelligent you are, I, I don't... Just say it, I know. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Doesn't want him. <laughs> so, <laughs> bachelor number two, I would find it very intriguing if you would take me on a date to see a graveyard. Because you are... You are... I was good! He was bad! <laughs> That's redundant. Okay, and that was dating game. Okay, great. That went over very well. Okay. Uh, we are going to play a game now called Dead Robots. In this game, we're going to have a scene where people occasionally will just uh, you know, stop working in, in life. And uh, there's no other way to say that. And uh, they're going to have to continue somehow. So this game is for Will. And uh, to start us off, we need a suggestion um, of something that you bought yesterday. Thank you. I want to buy this thing yesterday. Orange juice. Orange juice is your suggestion. And take it away. All right. Hold the ladder steady while I pick these. Okay, I got it. Okay. Yeah, I got it, Bill. Just, just don't fall off the ladder again, because that's not on me! That's not on me! I know it's not on you! Hey, I know! Papa Smurf, what up? I hate your stupid slang, Jerry! You're a real jerk of a boss! Hey! You can't talk to me like that! Hey, Smurf! What, what the heck? Hey, what's this jackass doing here? I hate him! <laughs> what? This guy's coming after my job now. I'm still keeping the ladder steady for you, buddy. I appreciate that. Hey, I have six years of ladder school. Also, I need to give people hugs. What? A hug? That sounds crazy! No, go with it! Go with it! I can give everybody a hug! No, don't give the person who's holding the ladder steady a hug! They'll fall! Oh no! Now I'll fall! Thump! <laughs> Oh no! This unsteady ladder is causing me to lose my balance! Ah! Oh no! This fat Malouk has squished me! My internal organs! It's okay! I know mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation! This doesn't sound so- Shut up! I want to live! Okay! I mean, okay, 
I hope this gets me the job! Hey, that's how I got this ladder holding job! And oh, see. You. Thank you. That was great. Seamless. Our last game for this segment is a game called Sex is Life, and it's for everyone. Up in a line here. And uh, we're going to explain to everyone here what sex is like. Because, oh, okay. you know, it's good to uh, have a little Q&A every once in a while, when people know what's going on. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. for our first suggestion, can we get a uh, favorite childhood toy that you had growing up? My like, Little Pony. My Little Pony. My Little Pony. Okay, Luciana. <laughs> uh, 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 sex is like My Little Pony, because it comes out all the colors. Uh, sex is like My Little Pony because it's really popular with children. Oh. Sex is like My Little Pony because it's inexplicably popular with 20 to 25 year old men. <laughs> uh, sex is like My Little Pony because I've never had it growing up. Oh. Sex is like My Little Pony because you can get it with a girl's Happy Meal. <laughs> sex is like My Little Pony because sometimes I like to wear a saddle. <laughs> sex is like My Little Pony because I don't really understand the appeal. Oh. Oh. Alright, uh, another suggestion please. Anything you can think of, any object, any job, any... Pocket protector. Pocket protector. Pocket protector. Alright, sex is like a pocket protector, right? Because, like, the pen, it goes into, like, so the pen is long and kind of hard. And then the pocket is kind of like... Suggestion of a job, please. <laughs> job or uh, occupation? Astronaut. 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 Sex is like an astronaut because the best ones die. What? <laughs> Gus Grissom? Sex is like an astronaut because they have a different word for it in Russia. <laughs> Sex is like an astronaut because the first experiments were with dogs and monkeys. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, sex is like an astronaut because I dare to go to infinity and beyond. <laughs> sex is like an astronaut because it's better when you're in outer space! Sex is like an astronaut because you gotta have the right stuff. <laughs> sex is like an astronaut because it's safest when you're covered in about a millimeter of aluminum. <laughs> sex is like an astronaut because my preference is to go to the moon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You know, oh, yeah. I'm at the butt. <laughs> we have one more suggestion. Have a thing that you can find in your junk drawer? Do you have a junk drawer? Yes. Scissors? Scissors. I have scissors. <laughs> Sex is like scissors, because it's different for left-handed people. <laughs> I kind of said that. Let's go with that duct tape suggestion. <laughs> Sex is like duct tape, because it brings things together. Aww. Sex is like duct tape, because it fixes everything. <laughs> yeah. Sex is like duct tape, because you never have enough when you really need it. <laughs> Sex is like duct tape, because it has a light side, a dark side, and hope. No, that's the force from Star Wars. <laughs> um, sex is like duct tape, because I have, a really, I have a really hard time with it. You know, you can like, tear it, but then it gets like, it tears like down the center, and it's just, it's, I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> sex is like duct tape, because I always have it in my car. <laughs> sex is like duct tape, because I use it to hold my ducks together. <laughs> Think about it for a while. Uh, and maybe you'll figure out a punchline, because I didn't. <laughs> Sex is like duct tape because more often than not it's really, really sticky. Uh, Sex is like duct tape because when I was a kid I used to have this cassette tape of DuckTales soundtrack. And uh, one time this guy rode his bike up my driveway and asked for duct tape, and that's what I thought he meant. <laughs> Sex is like duct tape. <laughs> Sex is like duct tape, so you can find it in aisle four at Walmart. Woo! And that's sex is like. Yeah!
Now we're going to start this uh, next segment off with a game we like to call Fake or Die, just kind of a fun thing. We're going to have everyone else look at a line, except for me, I'm going to be conducting this. Thank you, thank you. All the power. Uh, now, we're going to get a category from you guys, and whoever I point at has to name a thing in that category that doesn't actually exist. They have to make it up. And if uh, it exists or it doesn't sound right, they're going to die. It's going to be great. So, first, can we get a category for this first one? State Capitals. State Capitals. St. Palm. Louisville. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Is it Frankfurt? Fatapolis. Monochronopolis. Walmart. Florida. Flow days. <laughs> Atlantis. Chicago. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. Same joke. Frank Fort. Uh, that is, this is, this is, this is <laughs> That is actually it. Alright. Wow. Okay. Another category, please. Super Nintendo games. That's Damn one it. Super Nintendo games. <laughs> Electro Shock Boy 5000. Chromo Trigger. <laughs> Honey, I Shrunk the Cat. <laughs> Stario. A A B B B. Homeward <laughs> Bound. Start Boy. I'm a plumber fighting turtles. <laughs> Kid who shoots lasers out of his hands. Shoot people. Shoot more people. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot birds. Uh, punch face. <laughs> Jimmy Johns. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Jimmy McShootersons. The Lotion of Zelda. Escape Heaven. <laughs> um. Nope. <laughs> too much hesitation there. One more category. World War II battles. World War II battles. Uh, the Battle of Two Magicians. <laughs> the Battle of Fifteen Magicians. Bloody blood. <laughs> bloody blood blood. Bloody blood blood. Bloody blood. Bloody blood. I wish the survivor of bloody blood blood. It's nothing to laugh about. Uh, no laughing matter, Tim. Electro courses. Star Trek. High school electives. Star Trek. Star Trek episode names. Dante's Inferno. A balance of hams. The class without class. Spot goes rogue. <laughs> Spot goes rogue. <laughs> Kiss me, Kirk. Eighty synth riff. Kirk and friends. <laughs> I'm a doctor, not the title of a Star Trek episode. Kirk and enemies. Kirk and other people. There was nothing good in this show. The ship and I. The sh Khan, come here. Join <laughs> <laughs> the forge of this river. <laughs> Deep Space Ten. Um, guy with uh, the eye thing kisses the <laughs> 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 Nice little electives. High school elective courses. <laughs> Automotive destruction. <laughs> Electrons. Freeform car core. Fast food. <laughs> Slow food. <laughs> How to eat corn on the cob. <laughs> Drinking a lot of booze. <laughs> Intramural pool dancing. I don't know. <laughs> okay. One last category. Things Barack Obama promised but didn't deliver on. Things that Barack Obama promised but didn't deliver on. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> big fans of Star Trek. And it was always, like, any time they had a nerd passion, because <laughs> my parents are nerds, shock. Uh, <laughs> it was always good for me because I would get to stay up a little later so that they could indoctrinate me into the things that they loved. Like the first time Monty Python and the Holy Grail was on PBS, and I was like eight. And they're like, no, no, Will, you stay up tonight. I'm like, okay. They're like. And then it got to the part where they're having, se like, where the virgins are trying to have sex with plants. So like, we'll go to bed. <laughs> uh, but no, it was always great because every Saturday night at midnight, because that's when they put the nerd stuff, I would stay up and watch Star Trek: The Next Generation, and it was just so good. Man. As usual, no end, no end. <laughs> Janie, Alan. It's been three years. You can call me Dad. 
I mean, you could... <laughs> All right, maybe another day soon, maybe? You're 12 now. Ask your wedding moment. It... Little baby's all grown up. <laughs> really nice when I met you. Show me that! Hi, I'm gonna be your new daddy. I'm Jane E. I know, your mother told me all about you. Show me that! Uh, she likes cookies. Show me that! <laughs> <laughs> cookies! <laughs> Quit mocking my voice. <laughs> I can't. It's just so weird. I know it's weird, but there's some sort of Momulin Decepta Hulk outside the ship and you're distracting me hey. by making fun of my voice. Hey, Captain! Yes? Captain, there's there's bad guys outside! Oh, is there bad guys? Oh my god! Oh, this no. is serious! I'm the oh. same thing I hate. Cookie Monster, I want to have a baby. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Inner monologue, Cookie Monster. <laughs> what baby? <laughs> <laughs> but can you promise me that you'll always be there for me and our son or daughter or baby monster? <laughs> what? No, I don't. What? No? Yes? Cookie. <laughs> Guy, I'm looking for a certain DVD here. Oh, we got your DVDs, your DVR. I'm looking. No, I'm looking. DVR. I'm looking for a certain episode of the Star Trek. Look, I'm looking for the one where the guy with the eye thingy kisses the other. Show me that. <laughs> I've never. Keep showing me. I've never. It's just I've never. Oh, fuck Oscar winning moment. <laughs> <laughs> Not worth it, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think we should still remain friends. Would it have been better without the eye thing? Yeah, it gets Because it away. comes off. Go back! <laughs> you want to watch this one? Oh, you got it! You do realize how crappy it is, right? Well, I like how they remain friends. <laughs> <laughs> it teach, uh, Let teaches me, just me a lot of life up. lessons. Behind the counter, please. That'll be fifteen ninety-three. Wait a minute. I need that money for Tylenol. I'm addicted. <laughs> Mom, I don't like Helen. Well, I'm sorry. Ever since your father, Cookie Monster, left us, show me that. <laughs> Don't do this to us. We need you. And your cookies. Uh, it's just too much pressure. Our daughter is part bird, part monster. I can provide the bird, but we need you to provide the monster. And I need you to provide cookies. And I want cookie monster. All I ever want is cookie. And all I ever get is Relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get a job aboard the uh, Enterprise. Show me that. <laughs> big bird reporter. Big bird reporter. For you. Oh, look at him go. He's a big old bird. We never get anything done, Captain. We just make fun of each other. Reverse. Fun of each other. Make fun everything we do, Captain. He's a big old bird. <laughs> All we ever do is make fun of each other, Captain. We never get anything done. I can't help that. Listen, the Spocks are attacking the ship. Quit <laughs> making <laughs> only that. Illogical. <laughs> oh, just the one. Go back. <laughs> 
Oh, oh Spox, he's gone rogue. I can't, I can't lay, fa press the phasers. Okay, Janie, let's try this again, okay? Let's try it again. Janie. Alan. All right, okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. You're 12 now. Yep. And one, two, big one, two. Yep, and I think it's time that you stayed up with me and your mother. Um, and your piece. Jamie, don't tell him you can see me. <laughs> <laughs> He'll put you in the asylum. <laughs> and, uh, well, your mother and I, your mother and I belong to a secret society. And it's time, it's, I don't know, it's time, this, I just felt something, it's time that, yeah, that was really weird, it's time that you join, this is very hard for me to say, Janie, but I want you to be a potter. That sounds boring, Janie, playing with fire. Also, I'm a potist. Your mother and I are potists. But does that involve any fire? Yes, after you make the pot, you put it in the kiln and it burns. So how'd you like the episode? Frankly, I'm not a fan. Of well, the this is just a really roundabout way of saying I think we should just be friends. Oscar <laughs> <laughs> uh, winning moment. It's been three months since we've been going out. <laughs> yeah. This is really odd. I'm not feeling it. I thought it was best conveyed through Star Trek. <laughs> Inner monologue girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Bill, I don't understand why you made me watch this episode of Star Trek about Jean-Luc Picard getting fired. <laughs> yeah, Tony, um, I'm gonna let you go. You, you don't have enough hair. In a monologue, Tony! I tried to grow hair. <laughs> Show me that. <laughs> So I, uh, I asked Jane to be a potist with us. <laughs> you know, I thought it was... <laughs> I thought it was time. Oh, my God. Oh, you know, uh, stay up, you know, past your bedtime. Do this with us. Your time. <laughs> what do you think? Mom, I don't understand why you made me watch this episode of Star Trek where Jean-Luc Picard has to make pots and never eats cookies again. <laughs> uh, well, do you remember how your father left? <laughs> uh, yeah? Did it just get chilly in here? Maybe, maybe we should play with fire, that would make it warmer. <laughs> um, so, Kirk's pregnant. Show me that. <laughs> I don't know where this baby came from. I don't know. Oh, oh That's mine. Sulu, you sneaky guy. <laughs> Why did you have me watch it? I had a miscarriage. Oh. A Spock flew at me. I thought I could best convey it through Star Trek, where John, where Captain Kirk's, uh, gets his baby attacked by a Spock. <laughs> Welcome to Star Trek Anonymous. I'm here to help you deal with your emotions. This reminds me of that episode where uh, Captain no. Kirk no. is in no. a room full of people. No. Captain! Eat cookies for eat cookies. I've not eaten cookies in two years. 
Man, we gotta go to that nutritional festival cookies. dressed as baked goods. Need cookies. Need cookies. <laughs> Hope Need nothing happens to oh us. Oh my! Two men in giant cookie costumes! <laughs> now I'm leaving! Need cookies to feed family. Or just me. Need cookies to feed me cookies. I've not eaten cookie in cookie years! I'm eat. wearing a suit made of cookies! Need to eat. I guess that doesn't matter! Hurry! Cross in front of the hobo. Monster well, to me eat cookie for eat to me eat years cookies. Reverse. But <laughs> year cookie eat for me eat to year. I eat the meat <laughs> cookie to me in my eating and Elmo. <laughs> Thanks for spending the night at my house. I really appreciate it, even though, even though you're. You're kind of weird, but... <laughs> well, you said that you had cookies. I do! My mom ate them! Um, you, want, you want me to go get them? Yeah, that'd be great. Where'd you, where'd you get that? I've been holding it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Good save. <laughs> You're gonna stay here. You can play with my My Little Ponies if you want. Good. Hey, Jamie, that stuff's like 90 proof. It'll burn like anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you just put the you put the clay, just slap it on. Oh my god! Just grab it like this, slap it on. Okay. Oh my Slap it on. Oh, oh, it on. Oh, it on. Oh, right, then I press the thing. Right, and see how it spins. Okay, a lot of weird stuff has been happening on this ship. You're pregnant. Show me that. I'm pregnant. <laughs> One of <I'm> Spock. Ah! <laughs> That's some pretty weird stuff happening. Welcome back. So you're pregnant, but you had a miscarriage, tragically. I think me and that guy should just be friends. Probably. It's been a weird, strange journey. Remember that time we kissed? Show me that. <laughs> Boy, that was weird when we kissed a minute ago. <laughs> Just in the verse. Boy, I can't wait for a couple minutes from now when we're going to kiss. Man, forward. Fast forward. <laughs> Slow motion. <laughs> I'll scream on me. You get your hands up here! Mine. Times as a single mother bird have been rough. Well, I suppose I can have one cookie. <laughs> what can one cookie hurt? I, a little birdie told me that you had one cookie, and I was wondering if maybe I could, we could rekindle the cookie <laughs> for me to eat. You left. I was just out for a pack of cookies. Can you promise me sunny days? <laughs> Is that the type of cookie? <laughs> Can you make the clouds go away? <laughs> to where the air is clear. I just want to get back to Sesame Street. And I just want to get back to that cookie in your head. <laughs> My work here is done. Om nom 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 nom. <laughs> <laughs>